Question. You ready? Um, okay, one, two, three. Okay, if there was a spirit or angel or demon that came to you, um, this is the question. What would you need situation today? If a spirit came to you, which one do you want me to uh, talk about first? A spirit or an angel or a demon? What would you want to talk about? I thought there were only three questions. There are three questions, but I want to um, ask you them um, and you in whatever order you want me to ask. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Okay, if it okay if an uh, angel uh, had a ball of light in front of you, what would you do? Like it looked like it wanted you to take it. What would you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I guess it's taking. Uh, okay. What would you do if uh, a spirit had a box in its hand and says, take it, take it, go ahead, take it. What would you do? Like in that kind of evil, well, a desperate man or like desperate to give it to you. I'd probably take it. You would? Fuck. You get cursed that you just took on, right? Mm -hmm. And then what would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? Oh, well, my life's already over, so, but but it, so why not take it? No, but if he gives you um, headaches and stuff, like, no, this is sort of individual, you know, individual. No, I get it, but I'm just separate. saying what would you do about the demon that asked you or told you, I can make you powerful? What would you do? I guess I'd have a verbal debate and find out what kind of power. Yes, that's that's, that's an answer. I would like to go like more long ways with that. What would you negotiate with that? Because you never know. And have you ever heard like the Bible bullshit? It says that sometimes you can um, command weather Bible bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. And then... Okay, so I have to say this. I'm not a firm believer in God. He's not a firm believer in God. Sorry. To well, sure. um, yeah. Just cool. saying. So okay. it's kind of hard for me to, you know, do that. have gotten tuned with it. Oh, you've never seen angel wings? <laughs> I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. 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 I have witnesses, too. I have witnesses. And I know other people who have seen angels, too. Other people have seen angels. We have seen it all. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> Not July. Or... Oh, it looks good. Hi. Are we on camera? Okay. <laughs> so... Alright, buddy, I'm gonna go over here and look up this hexagon. Hexagon, decimal code. Alright. This is a what would you do test. Okay. Bye. Okay. What would you do to astrology? Capricorn. Moon and. What's your moon sign? Uh, Sagittarius. Okay. What's your rising sign? Uh, Aries. What's your rising sign? I have no idea. No, we didn't have your time for us. Okay. Do you, what would you do if you saw a spirit that was trying to give you this um, box that looks like kind of like a grass, like it looks like a scenario, you know, like something that, you know, you just, you know, was trying to give it to you, like, hey, 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 you look like he was desperate to give it to you, and kind of like was freaky, like, hey, 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 you know what I mean, take it, take it, and desperate to give it to you, what would you do? I wouldn't take it. Neither would I. Okay, what would you do if neither did I? Uh, well, I told you the fuck out of my house. I told you the fuck out of my house. And, um, I don't know. Listen, um, what would you do if, um, an angel, a guy, if you saw four girl angels on uh, this side, and then you saw an angel in the middle of this other girl angel over the side, he was here, and he had blonde hair and blue eyes. His ball of light. He was there. He was sitting right in front of them, like conversing and everything with these angels and an Indian spirit. Imagine this happening to you, and this girl sees these spirits already seen them before you ever got to. What would you do? That angel, the ball, guy angel, was trying to hand you this ball of light. What would you do if you just held it like this? And what would you do? She says that she accepts those gifts um, faster. And she, and uh, what would you do if she said that to you? Mm -hmm. The physical girl who has long hair and she's a Libra, and she's dressed in some PJs and stuff like that. She has long white hair. She's waiting for. Arrive at Walmart in there, and she said that, and I was like, "Okay, well, you can. Be, I give you a ride." And it was like lightning and thunder and storming, and like, so we sit in the parking lot because it was raining really bad. So I saw the spirit, and I didn't get it recorded though. But um, get this: What would you do if a demon said, "I can make you powerful"? What would you do? 
ask him how you know what caused. Okay, what would you do if he was giving you headaches just to be around in his prison? Giving what? You a headache because it was like your poll like pollution. What would you do then? Ask him to go. What I try and get away from him. <laughs> yeah. I told him I'm already powerful, so fuck off. And then after that, he goes, Get out, get out, this is Jody's house, get out. Get out, get out, get out. In the other room that we walked into when there was this fucking flying looking blackboard that kind of was like shaped like a bat, but it wasn't. And it was following a little tiny orb. And um, that's what I focused on. And it saved me, it made my bubble go. I've had a, my protection bubble once, like it, like, you know, like a blowfish does, that my, my aura was like that I could totally feel myself, like, all around in the light as, as I am, you know, having to glow sometimes, because you can see auras, naked eye, you can see the outline, the glow, to other people in different outfits make that atmosphere, you glow, or see, you know, you just stare at it for like, like, in a, you know, a focused way that you look at it, you know those pictures that you see and they're like 3D? 3D. It's like doing that to your eyes when you stare at the thing you'll see in 3D without 3D glasses. You know what I'm talking about? Those, those pictures that you have to stare oh, at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what pictures Okay, that's how you stare at us to see the auras. Really. But, and then they'll start showing themselves to you. Like, I didn't see them all. But um, it doesn't confirm anything. Like, the inner, there's an inner aura that is, uh, confirms things too. But at the outer aura, yeah, we can both see the same thing. We see the same thing. You know, we can... Like it's different colors, like orange hair and um, light blue, or whatever, and white or something. Like it's like the only orange. Hair. I don't know, and then, like lots of like teal blue or indigo blue, whatever hair. And you can see that if I was counting the count camera better. Anyways, well, so you said no to the demon, and you said that. Okay, that was the answer to my question. Like for true. What would you do if a fucking spirit has holding a um, box and is like, take it, take it, take it, and it looks like a fucking tweaker, and then... Like yeah. a ghost? Yeah, dude, that just comes in your room without permission and oh, just asks you to take this uh, box. I would shit myself and go back to sleep. Um, okay, so you ignore it. Yeah, okay. I would, like, go under the bed. That shit, what would you do, whore? Well, I've already, I'll tell you what I've already No, no, like, you tell me now. So, like, I'll tell like, you it's, what. it's like a regular conversation. You, it's a real thing. Yeah. You're like a bad. I'll tell you after. I'll tell they you just my, say it real no, quick. I'm gonna, no, because I'll tell my answers, but you have to have your oh, own answers oh. first. Yeah, but I just fucking said it. So then you can say after. There's two You're more. So stupid. I can't. No, there's two more go, questions. Okay, I can't answer any of these questions go. after the questions. Oh, my over. God. Those are exceptions. Okay. What if a uh, angel with Don't a, um. With a ball of light in its hand, it is a guy angel with the blonde hair, blue eyes, and stuff. And, wait, then, wait, and, wait, and, wait. And, and imagine there was also like three girl angels over here. Okay, horse. And then like a guy angel here, and then a girl angel over here, and then like an Indian spirit right here. Anyways, despite all that, this one I paid attention to was the the guy because I've never seen a guy angel. I've always seen girls. And they all look alike. They all look kind of like everything. They're they're not they're yeah. not humans, but they look like humans in a way. But they have wings. A glow. Yeah. And, 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 and if there's somebody who looks like an angel, but she doesn't have wings, I'm not gonna call her an angel or him. Yeah, I'm just okay. gonna call them whatever the fuck. Okay, because they're not. They're not they're di different oh species. Gosh. Okay. So what if this white, uh, this fucking yeah, this guy angel was holding a ball light in his hand and it wanted to give it to you? What would you say? What would you do? What the fuck? It's like the other, like, uh, now I'm thinking backgrounds. I'm thinking of, like, a blue sky and everything. Like, heaven type shit. Well, I was are in the, the car other, when it the was other... raining. It was raining really bad. Okay. And we were inside this fun car, me and this Libra girl with long hair, and she had fucking angels around and she actually sees them without actually recording it and stuff because she's a dumb, I guess, because you should record this all the time and I recorded it. Show me, you fake no, bitch. Actually, You're such a liar. I actually, I'm lying about that. I did not get to record the angels on that part. I did not. Liar. You're, but you're I do have... But I'm not a liar. I know, right? But I'm not... A, you're a Virgo. But and I'm not a liar because, you know, I have all this other evidence so I can just prove it without ever having sound like a schizophrenic proof or whatever. It doesn't so, matter. And I have that evidence. That can be, that can so that's be why I wouldn't be telling you this story until I can... Which I don't have to convince you on. In fact, I just want to want you to know you can criticize my. Just own. like how you, you said, just like, just like how you said the Bible wasn't real and shit like that. I didn't say it wasn't and, like, real. It wasn't like it is truthful. real now. It is a history of uh, oh entities God, okay. that they, people made up. I don't want to argue. But they're real people. No, I love mm -hmm. people. I don't want to argue. Go. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Jesus exists, but there could be just rumors. We're not. Lies just ask me the damn question. This is not on topic. Porn. This is not Sunday. Do you even go to church? No, I don't need to now because Corona. But I love to go to church all the time. Any church, I wear. 
I go. Do they love to do. talk shit about you? Oh, I don't mind. I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream. They can just get mad about it all they want. It's retarded. Hello, I know retarded more than they ever, ever. I've seen things that they don't even. Okay, okay. Next it. session. I don't. Care. Okay. I love myself. The good for you. Okay, nurses. Okay, listen. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you do if a demon said, "I can make you powerful"? What would you do? Oh, that's a good. Have you ever seen Jennifer's body? Yeah. Oh my god. She's Taurus. Think mad about it. Mm-hmm. I am. Mm-hmm. What was it? I think of that scene when like she's about to get died. So I think. I would be like, no, because I was raised better. Right. Because so, I have Asian parents. So you definitely do not want to be around some stupid dark demon No, dealer. I think it would just be like, oh shit, like I went to a Catholic school. So it's like... Catholic is not going to protect you from a demon. <laughs> Yeah, maybe no. It's Jesus just because no. It's just because it's you just because can, I think and about other Samaritans with good light. That's all. Okay, it is. let me talk. This, well, but that's your answer. Um, no, can you give me? Some, I think you're like, oh no, because it's like I know better, and it's like, eh, you know. That's a better answer. Yeah. But uh, so you just I won. I I I just wondered. I'm like, you can make me powerful. Well, that means. Well, first of all, I said I'm already powerful. Fuck off. No, I'm I like, want to say keep that. your distance and no, I'll, I'll I would communicate be scared. with whatever. No, but I, I would, would you to accept Jesus in your heart and see if we could get the light inside mm-hmm. you instead of you have to be darker anymore because we're trying to get you out of that dark because you're void of light. All of our friends are in yeah. the light, even if you're fake and boring and bullshit and douchebaggy. Yeah. All our friends are still in the blood, fucking blood light. As humans, mostly their bodies are safe from these demons that are actually real, and you could be cornered by them and you can never be found. And like. You could be kidnapped and stuff. And even if Jesus exists, you're going to have to find a way inside of yourself to find him somewhere outside there. And uh-huh. it's crazy. He really does exist. And he has a plasma aura. It's real. It's living and stuff. And it's really pretty. He, has, he looks like David Bowie and shit. Like, he's so beautiful. He looks like that, but he has blue eyes and um, better everything. And just, like, better cheekbones. But his nose right here is, like, flat. Like, it looks like it's broken right here. The real Jesus mm-hmm. that I've seen. And he has, like, a Jewish nose or whatever. So, but it's not broken, but it's, he's more like that. It's kind of like a goat shaped face in a way. Cause Capricorn How did you see Jesus? I'm I sorry. saw Jesus because like I'm psychic and I tapped into things and eventually I actually got to see Jesus because I tapped into the, my friend uh-huh. who has a friend who talks to demons in real life as apparently. Cause I see things around, I see, I think I, see you her, were, I, think, I think I have the real thing and I'll show you the dual deal. I think you were just watching Looney Tunes. No, I'm not. That's some kind of bullshit. I have actual evidence and I'm not like lying and saying. Okay. I know. What is that one jewel says? I don't know. Oh my God. I thought you were like. Pony the girl, something. the girl, no, bitch. Euphoria, I love Euphoria. No, from Jennifer's body, Fuck. the girl. Uh, uh, needy. Needy, yeah, yeah. what she says, I don't make up some kind of stories and I don't make up jabbles. Or yeah, what did she, yeah. what kind of word did she say, though? I don't Remember? know. I only know Jennifer's lines. I have those babies, so I don't care. <laughs> I only know Jennifer's lines. Yeah. We should watch it. We have it. Do you yeah. have it? Mm-hmm. Like, on DVD type shit? Yes. Okay. We should remind her. We'll find that part and we'll see what it says. And no, we're gonna watch the whole fucking movie. We can do that too if you want to. We can do like another time though. Can another I have your number? What's your number? Five. I don't have one. You're mad about it. I only call people private in one of the inside ratings. You have to give me your numbers and I will call you private. But we're not recording your number. <laughs> Did you stop it? Stop it. Okay. You, the, what was your answer? Oh my God, the one video. So retarded. No, I'm not. What was your answer to those 30 questions? No, no, yes, yes, or I don't know, maybe? What? What was the first one again? Give the example. The guy with the box that was given to you that came to your house. Oh, I didn't even answer that. Um, I mean, is there any sign of him be- being bad or... He was, like, desperate to give it to you. Like, in nerve? Or, like, like do it now, like, I'm gonna die? Or, like, how was the vibe? Like, yeah, was I, the vibe? I was like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. I do not want any of that. Could It got him cursed. Get the fuck out of here, creep. And guess what else? I, I sense and seen cords behind him connected to him that had demons. I'm and that's so oh, no, no, So he's trying to give, give you something, like, to, so he'll be released because the demons oh, are tor- making you torture people? So that looks like, too. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Your answers now no. ain't any much. No. What would you do with those people, those beings? If this is your fucking psychic intelligent being and your fucking goddamn experience, what the fuck would you do in this little thing? I said like, no. You, you can't. You take, take take everything? Yeah. Even the angels? With the, with the ball light? Like, I wouldn't, like, yes or no. Well, it's your answer, not mine. My answer is no, bitch, because you could be a fallen angel. You could, that light, once it disappears inside of me and I don't see it anymore, because I'm seeing it now, you know, then, uh, what the fuck is it? Because she didn't tell me, because I, I guess I wasn't listening good enough, because she was silent after that, but there was another angel I saw, she goes, I'm going to show you a testimony really of God, and I, right listen, I've seen an angel, she said, I'm going to show you a testimony of God, and you have good chambers. Guess what? So she said the word God, and she said I have good chambers. What do you think that means? What do you think Would that you means? Change? What? Like, put you in chambers? No, dude. No, I'm talking about this chambers. She said you have good chambers. 
Bitch, I don't know what shit. I don't okay, either. I, I don't either, minutes. but that's what they told me. Five minutes. Gas station, like, good. Number one. They stopped selling beer one here. Oh, gas station. Let's go to the one. I'll go down that right now. Okay. Okay. Well, here's three questions. Okay. okay. What would you do if a fucking spirit says, take it, take it, take it, and there's a box, and he came to your room like that, he's like all desperate to give it to you, like a little tweak or something, I would take it. Oh, I don't know. But what if there, but what if you saw cords that were connected to him, they were connected to demons, he was chained to demons. It was like he was like, desperate to give it to you because it's like a curse to give it to somebody else. Would you take it still? Would. You would take it for, from, for him? For him. But what if you got chained with it and you got hold and connect with him because he's being forced to do something wrong to you you know what i mean you still take him be kidnapped by the demons don't be kidnapped by demons you don't deserve that you're in the light you're still in the light you best you can i'm ready to cry that was like the most like smartest crazy right thing i needed to hear at the same time mm -hmm. Is that worth it? yeah you're in the light <laughs> you're not in hell and you're not in void of light but you're not a demon so keep up the light. No matter if you're a fucking crazy person or not, or demon or, or douchebag or anything. It doesn't matter, you're not any of that. But um, you know what I mean? I any, anybody anybody, anybody with the light can be a douchebag and they're still in the fucking light, you know? Yeah. They're still human. They're safe from demons. Because when you're out of your body, you ain't safe. Isn't that crazy? That's fucked up. Because we're just blocks of energy and we have to take take care of it ourselves. And then Jesus is like the supernatural ball of living plasma bubble energy it looks like blending in a plasma bubble i seen just or whatever the fuck and um yeah it actually exists okay and um nobody gets fucked up nobody you know what I mean? but like this is how it exists for me anyways this is how it exists for me whenever i got to see him he's not you know what i mean like i mean he could just come for no reason but like i don't know but because what like when i saw demons and and and, and then south saw with my fuck with my cousin, um, um, they're, um, they're not, Jesus didn't come that day, but we saw it together, you know what I mean, the demons and stuff, but the light did, and, uh, 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 if you just focus on the light, you, you stay in that bubble, and it, the other stuff goes away and disappears, like, kind of stuff, like, the dark, the headaches, they give you headaches and stuff, this sounds kind of nuts, because I can't explain it. But I have videos of my witness bitch, right? From six months, six years later after telling the story. But I didn't tell you the story. I'm just telling you. This is my perception of what this is. We're the light beings. That's what we are. We're just light. Blobs of shit. Doesn't matter. We're not so special that we can be. But whatever. Neither is the demons with the dark energies. But like, just what would you do if the demon says, I can make you powerful? What would you do? Yeah. Yeah, that's the correct answer. What would you do if an angel... No, and what if you do, what would you do in this situation? This is what happened to me. Yeah. I went to fucking Walmart, right? Mm -hmm. And I walked past this girl who had like an angel around her, like wings and everything. And I really wanted my Omega-6, Omega-3 cookies. I'm allergic to them now because I got oatmeal in it, but I thought they were going to be healthy for me. But you know, they had a little kick of health to me, but all the same, yeah. all the same time, I'm allergic. And they don't know, but I just wanted them, right? I was just focused on getting something like that. And I just needed them. That was like my habit. So I went past her, go get my shit, come back outside, she's still there. She's like, I'm waiting on my rides. And I'm like, she's like, I'm like, you need a ride? You want a psychic reading? You know what a psychic reading is? What's your style of fun? And she's like, all oh, Libra and shit, she knows. And she sits mm -hmm. in my car, it starts raining, ball rain, so much, so much lightning. So that's cool. I can sit down in the car and she's going to listen to my fucking bullshit. So she's detained I get to see the light around her. And I'm bombed on calm when this happens because mm -hmm. I, I saw all the angel around her. At the beginning, I said that to her, and she says, yeah, I know. Like, what the fuck you mean, you know? Nobody sees this shit. But me, just kidding. <laughs> but, like, no, she sees this every fucking day, and I'm like, you're not recording this, you dumb bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm mad about. <laughs> and you're not doing anything with it like I would want to do, broadcast this through the fucking world. So that's why I want, that's why I try to record every time I have a chance to get a hold of something like yeah. that. It's totally crazy. Like, I am, A, like, never, like, for starters. Rain of what? Like car, like hanging the escape. I've always thought about it. I've never done it. And I was like, okay, well, I'll ask if this if, if, if you notice me or something. Like total coincidence that you just happen to like look up and like I'm really like someone noticed like this like crazy Yeah, you know, like running, like mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. like I don't know, maybe it was just a minute. Well, um, <laughs> 
Because again, I would never, like, honestly, if you didn't look up, like, is there any, like, make that eye contact, I guess, I would never ask. Right. Like, sometimes I'm like, I hope that bitch approached me, so I'm just like, what's your sign? Mm-hmm. Now, now you owe me. <laughs> your explanation, just your sign. I need people to sign. And people, so the rest of the world, they're just too scared to ask them what their sign is, mm-hmm. and I'll find out and do it for them, bitch. So here it is. Here's the, mm-hmm. here's who we are and all what you wanted to know. You know, whatever. Whatever. Stuff like that. Anyways, what would you do? Okay, we're in the fucking car with the Libra. You're in the car with the Libra girl, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. You're gonna throw that fucking right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, you're sitting in the car. Okay. Okay, there was, a uh, four girl angels right here, a guy angel right here, and one girl angel right here, and then, uh, uh, Indian angel right here, uh, not angel, but Indian spirit. He's dressed like an Indian, he's full blown Indian, whatever, whatever. Okay. That's irrelevant. But I focused on the guy because it was the first time I've ever seen a guy angel. I've seen girl angels before. This is the first time I've ever seen a guy angel, and he's actually in the middle. So I was like, uh, I'm going to pay attention to him because it's like, what's going to do? Because you have to pay attention to individual spirits. Like, you, if you're going to hear them, listen to them. You have to be listening, focus, focus, to hear it with that juggling that and juggling trying to just see them and stare at them you know what i mean and know that they're there and that's literally just stay in that state of mind you know to see the stuff and then pick up the shit that you have to to tell the information about confirming what the fuck they look like and everything and that they're actually there so that's what we did i we confirmed that these beings were really there and you know make sure no one's lying or delusional or you know so he had this ball of light what would you do if he was holding out for you like you know he's gonna give to you what do you do with it what do you about it? I want to get all of it. You're in hell no, I said no. But anyways, I didn't say no. I said, what is that fucking light? What is it for? What is it? What is it? What is it for? It's a ball light, right? I don't know what the fuck it is. And I asked her, what is it? Because she's all except gifts all the time taken. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. It could be a goddamn curse. And it's like invisible in me after I'm done seeing it, looking at it, you know? You know what I mean? Because like, you know, it's like 24 7. Right. You just. You know, unless you can be, I don't know. Wait, maybe. Sometimes I get juiced and I stay that way. You know, it just wears off and whatever. Yeah, just to stay in my life. Maybe you take so much magic. Mm-hmm. Use all the goodness all at once. Yeah, you gotta spread it out. <laughs> I don't know. That's, <laughs> I don't know. I just know to do it anymore. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, no, um, but you were taken, so that's your problem, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said. Uh, but what happened? I asked, I told, and now what would you, now if, uh, I asked her, I was like, well, what is, you know, what is she? And she's like, I take it all the time or whatever. And I'm like, well, why don't you? she said, and I was like, would you take it? And she says, yes. And I'm like, okay, fine then. I told him to give it to her and see what happens. Because <laughs> she accepts them anyways. So she, the ball light floated into her mouth, it lit up her eyes, and it lit up her spirit around here. Like, which is her hair self, you want to say it, or whatever the fuck it is. But it was dressed in jewels and stuff like that. It was all pretty riches. But in person, you know, the physical form, she's dressed in her eyes, like, just pajamas and shit. And plus, she yeah. lives in the trailer, so. Oh, doesn't mean you can't find richness through that. I mean, you know, yeah. people are cool. Fuck yeah, trailer park trash is bomb. You're you're stuck up, narcissist bitch, you boring ass. I don't care. This tra- <laughs> trash is recyclable. Awesome. So, that's not real trash. No, it's not. It's just a place that they needed to live. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with the trailer. Everyone dreams about having their own uh, yeah. eco-friendly trailer and off the grid shit, whatever, and being hippie, snoopy bitch, yeah, but whatever, so, anyways, I already, I was done with those questions, but, <laughs> but that's the experience I've had, and I said, fuck, no, I'm already powerful with that demon, so he can make me powerful, but if, like, if something's gonna offer you like that, it means you can already do it yourself, or the light will help you do it, why would you want to do it through the darkness, like, because you've got them fucking headaches and you're allergic to it, you know what I mean, it hurts your head, it's, it's a fucking energy, so you, yeah. so you said no already, you already know, so yeah. that's a better thing to do, say no, fuck that. Yeah. And then, like, these people that we're trying to say no to now always follow us. <laughs> the, the, the human part of the, the world situation. So that's fucked up, too. But, um, yeah, what would you do? Um, well, yeah, what would you do if you seen Jesus? Like I said, I seen him. Like, I see one by Jesus, whatever. But could you trust if it really was Jesus just because he went by Jesus? Just because he has a supernatural light that makes you feel like you're an acid, even if you're not an acid, you're sober, you can never, like, feel that way. But, you know, it's a temporary feeling when you're just around that presence, and that's what happened to me. But like, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna say yes. And then, the, the, would you... Well, I can't yes. sing, so I don't pretend. Yeah, I'm man. Bad, but yeah. I don't even, I'm like, 
That's the best way to explain it. I'm not going to pretend I know how to sing, but I will, like, make noises with my voice. <laughs> Even if it sounds good on this accident, whatever. I, that's the best explanation. Sorry, no, that's not what But I'm not calm. Yes, that's the rock. Awesome. What God was one of them? I, like, yeah. Oh, oh I got a story, but I will. I'm going to tell you in a minute. Um, I don't know if I want to be in this clip or what, I guess. Um... See, my car's fucked up, right? <laughs> Did you see it? You mm -hmm. didn't. No. I got a new windshield. This guy, he's an Aquarius. <laughs> 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 Literally, I only met her three times. Okay? I thought he was a good person because I dropped something while I was walking. And he picked it up for me and told me I dropped it. I was like, wow, what a cool person. What's your sign? He's Aquarius. I'm like, oh, they're such good people. Until I thought, you know, until I met, uh, uh, I've met Aquarius before. He stole my laptop. And held me up by a knife. But this guy... Oh, I thought you were so nice! Oh, we're nice people! I'm Pisces and the Castle of Paris. I'm nothing like your fucking dumbass. And just don't get twisted. But, I, whatever, you know. And, um, but, um, that's crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he carves... He, he tried to tell me he's the devil. He's like, oh, sex with you if you give me your soul. I'm like, I don't want that. No, thank you. And, no, I would never... Anyways, no. But, um... And then he's trying to say, oh, give you, get you money, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> and no? Why? What? No. The soul is going to last forever. This body is whatever, and you can't have neither one. Bye. <laughs> but I was like, he left his Bible in my car, and I, because I accidentally um, locked my keys in there. And I thought it was all going to be okay. I thought I was going to walk to where my extra key was. But he walked halfway there. But I told him, you know, you're going to have to wait outside because um, someone is a bitch and they they don't, I, they wouldn't understand. I'm just going to get my key without anyone needing to know. <laughs> and they're like, you're going to treat me like a dog? I'm like, no, I'm just treating you like a human. Just the other person I'm just trying to protect us from. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but literally, they just. Uh, walked off, trying to pretend that they're the devil. They think they're the devil. I'm like, okay, that's fine. We'll 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 walk along with that. We'll have that fun story. You you can pretend to be that. Maybe it's like a golf thing. Yeah, go for it, girl, man. What's up? Because you know, there's something for sexes. I thought they suck, and I would reject them all too. I get it. Religions were like fucked up. You're dumb. You're carrying around Bibles. You must be lost in your head. You don't know who you're like. You are. Mm. Right. What you want to be? You how to be yourself? You ain't gonna be no devil. You mm -hmm. part of it? What? You're lying. You should be a bad person, but. Yeah, why tribute to this bullshit anyways? Like, it's pretty, like, I don't know, I think it's almost, you have a pretty self-explanatory, but mm -hmm. you're either a good person or you're a shitty person. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. every action has a consequence, and every Yeah, there's consequences, it should be. But, like, I get it, well, you were in that predicament, no, 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 you're either a good person or a shitty person. <laughs> you know, like, I could, I could, like, call the police right now and get my shitty self in. Yeah. Uh, and that's just shitty, his daughter's there. Yeah. I mean, you're a shitty person. Yeah, and then it's Leading like... Leading to get not argue in front of your daughter? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking Because I can scream all fucking day. And yeah, you can happens. scream all fucking day. And that's <laughs> what I'm not thinking. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so true. And then it's like, um... The cop... I was going to say something about... Oh, like, has he ever been like... Yeah, the I got a police report saying that the cop... Say, you're abusing the, uh... uh phone. You're abusing the 911 call. Are you kidding me? Or like, you know, or like... if You, you know what I mean? That's what happened to me, and I think I believed it, because I kept on calling the police, and, like, it's not something the police can deal with anyways, I'm not going to be able to, I just need someone to scare him away, just tell him to leave me alone, please, that's yeah. all it needs, is, like, someone to get off my fucking property, and stay the fuck away without my permission, like, it's supposed to be. Right, like, that's just normal, like, it's, if someone tells yeah. me, hey, I don't want to be around you, I don't like you, mm -hmm. please leave. Not right now, maybe for 30 mm -hmm. minutes some other day. <laughs> Just call me when you cool down or whatever. You know, I, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to take an extra long shower or something. But it's yeah. Like, so I don't like you. I don't want to be around yeah. you. I, I, I like, oh my God. Yeah. I get really loud and mouthy and I have a tendency to say things. I don't, I'm going to just be careful because I don't antagonize. <laughs> I'm like, hey, if I tell you to leave or I don't want to be around you, that's it. Like, just, mm. it's going to cool off. I don't want to talk rationally then. Mm -hmm. But how many times, like, sober at that? Like, no one's oh, like, yes. If I'm drunk, you're like, oh, she's fine. And tomorrow. But no, if I've soberly told you a hundred times, I'm sorry. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I really don't like you, and I'm putting up with your bullshit, and I don't know why. 
I don't know why. It's not like I'm like, oh, I really love him. I love right, him. right. Like, I don't even love you. Like, oh my god, I don't even like you. Like, yeah, I don't want to be around you. We have nothing in common. Like, yeah, that's so true. Too. And I can't even hold a conversation. Oh my god, yeah. Like I'll be like, oh, so today, you know, he's like, he's got a three year old daughter, and I do her and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, great. You can't even watch the but, same yeah. shows together. Yeah. But it's like if you have to tag along, I'm gonna watch this. Right. Fucking damn it, demon! Yeah. Fuck off, idiots. <sighs> Like, it's not, nothing, you're not improving anything that's going on in my life. You're just this monster that I'm babysitting. I should get paid, you should get paid $11 an hour to take care of something like that. You can do that job. You know you can do that. You can apply for that somewhere, but I don't know. That's why we're never, never getting that bridge. But you can do that, and then once you have a job, you can be protected because of libel law or whatever law that you can't have other people interfering with your job at their place, that you're babysitting their place and their house, too. And you can have your time. And you can be paid for she, what you're doing. She fell off the back of the bed. Not only did she, A, hit the head on the concrete floor because there's a carpet there, but B, before she hit her head between the wall, between the floor and the and the bed where she fell, she hit the back of her head on her dresser door. <laughs> so now a two-year-old little child has hit her back of her head on her dresser door and then the floor. Oh. You know what he says? What? Hey, are we going to have sex? Oh my god, that's like disgusting. Times yeah, that's I horrible. That's horrible. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. That is horrible. I that is the most horrible yes. thing I've ever heard. I, I understand. I understand. As you're just asking me, like, it's just, I wish I ever and then, and then, like, if you, like, this is the most horrible thing that they didn't say, but it's not from our mouths, it's from theirs. If we go to our family member's house, our friends, anyone is, is we're accused of having sex with all of them, even yeah. our parents. If you go, yes. if you're, you go to your mom's house, they accuse you of having sex. You know what I mean? Has that happened to you too? Oh, yeah. Like, he thinks, oh, like, God, he God, thinks God. it's so, like, Everyone from appropriate or whatever. I'm not like, I'm a light TDA person. Yeah. I don't act that way. And yeah. People, you, yeah, it's like you're but, like, fucking... But, like, I'm at my mom's. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, you don't want to of do like, none of that fucking shit. fucking groping me in front of my mother. Like, yeah. Just, I'm like, having hey, they're talking about their conversation. Yeah. And, like, and, and there's, I know where this is going to I know, I know. They just go there where it's yes. not supposed to be like an like, irrational, mm-hmm. immature retard. Yes. And then it's like, um, oh my god, I can't believe you just told me that. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's just green tea. We're not drinking alcohol. We're not. Mm. We're about to be. No. That's how I'm hanging out my problem this evening. <laughs> I'll figure out what to do after a couple beers. That's the story. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get another cold one. I'm gonna get another cold one. Are you using the water? You want a V8 juice because it's healthy? Is that the right time? Um, yeah, it is actually just 12.15. You need to go now? Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it 12. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright. Sorry, I wouldn't care, but Arkansas is weird. In West Virginia, in Pennsylvania, in mm-hmm. Maryland, in Kentucky, in Alabama, mm-hmm. you can get beer till alcohol till 4 a.m. Wow. Oh, you can't go until 1. We have a time schedule. Yeah, okay. I'll help you. How many presents? Yeah, how many potential or how many presents does yes. God yes. that can be inside with me? Mm-hmm. And I let him be inside with me and mm-hmm. outside me in my energy. And I um, invoke, how do you say when you, yeah, invoke is for good. Accept Jesus into your heart and vocal. What do you mean? Um, I don't know. Well, I just let them be inside with me always. The light, the true light. Yes. I always say true because you never know. The light can be um, dangerous too. Yeah. So, yeah. And I learned all that in my dreams. Nobody told me nothing. <laughs> yeah. And they still, um, Teach me in my dreams. Do you see animal spirits too? Animals? Mm-hmm. No, just lights. Like Do you see a... any animals that ever died in your life? No, it's just. Or other people's? Anybody's relatives? Oh uh, yes, my grandma. Oh, uh, anybody else's relatives and my, friends? My, okay. my brother. I mean, my brother, my friend. Well, he was my my, my brother. Really? He and many people, but I don't care about them. Well, I care, but sometimes they take too much energy from me. Sometimes I just. I say, please let me alone, and I want, I don't have, I can't help you, you know, I can't. They take energy from you just to be around you? Yes. That's never happened to me, I just like... I think sometimes they can be a demon, right, by well, spirit, they pretend to be my grandma or my my, maybe. my my friend, and I don't want to to let them take my energy because... 
Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. And that when I feel safe in my dreams, I can control it. I can control my my what I'm saying, what I want to do, and I feel safe. Yeah. And sometimes my, my dreams change too fast, too fast, and some light can appear like. like well, have you ever tried to call out to Jesus, even if he's just a, this rumor until you actually see him? Mm -hmm. and you did. Did Jesus? it happen? Yeah. Well, I have a dream about him. If, if he was Jesus or not, but right. But he is not like the pictures we always see. Oh yeah. Because they, the pictures that can be some someone else. You know, yeah. like a model that can just model like a Jesus. Well, I've seen this, Je Jesus when I called out to Jesus or whatever the times I did or whatever, he came with his light and casted away the demons around this person and other stuff and whatever, all kinds of stories I have, but several times. So should I deny trust that or could that just be a setup with dark demons and he's just pretending to be a good light or something and just then tra trap me in his light or was it really good it was really good i could never make myself feel like that it felt like acid it felt like a bubble it was like a plasma aura mm -hmm. and it was real like a light, living spirit mm -hmm. of jesus with his blue eyes and um looks just like that but like way prettier way prettier mm -hmm. with black teeth the last time when i see a body with jesus was yeah i don't know or probably someone someone else like he have a light, like super high yeah. light or something like that. Yeah. And it was like person who I can just see his body from this uh -huh. neck, from his neck and his face, but never I can see his face. Yeah. It's just like yeah. Like, he also light, had that too. Last in that time. light, I can see his eyes. I can uh -huh. see nothing. I just heard his voice, and his voice is too strong. Yeah. And that's it. Do you think that was God or Jesus or whatever? Uh, probably, it's, I can say it was Jesus, because I, I think um, they came... What is a good one? Probably a good one for the Spirit or something. Because I think Jesus is too powerful, it's too much to to be in my dreams. Or to be in some one person like... Well, he's you know? the savior of everyone or some bullshit. So he might have the light to save everyone with his light. And he's from heaven or something. And he is heaven or something is what I think. Like, he is heaven. Like, there's no one else. Nothing else. No, just empty but space with people's spirits. And that's it. And then he's the one with the light. So he has heaven with him. Yeah, how do you know? It's what it seems like. Because that's all I know. Is That's what I've seen. But that's what how, I get. But how... You never tell more than that? Like, I know angels told me... This one angel, she goes, I'm going to show you your testimony of God and that you have good chambers. So she mentioned the word God. So beat that. <laughs> I was like, it just be God, but I think sometimes, I mean, probably Jesus or something, he just discovered something that we we can't discover as a human. He discovered something. Yeah, I know, right? Because he's like supernatural. His spirit uh -huh. is supernatural. And maybe you can... Or than any maybe other spirit. Can, maybe you can be a supernatural or somebody else. And maybe we have to leave. We have to leave what we are now. And we have to become in something else. I don't know. Yeah, that's why when I have... What about reincarnation? I know animals no. taught me about reincarnation. If you have a reincarnation, it's just something like <clears throat> that can repeat always and always and always. So no, like you're just reborn into a different body. Like a, animals is. But I don't know about us. But how do you kinda. know the animals? I mean... They told me. They showed me. But, okay, sometimes... I know, I understand that. Sometimes they can tell you something, but you, how do you know that it's a good thing or not I always I never believe in when they tell me something because you never know they try to yeah, you can't just, trust nobody no. exactly. they can put so, when you try to discover something and it's very important and and, and, and it's like and you have to give a big step in your life mm -hmm. they try to distract you well yeah they try to distract, distract you, good you things. And, and put you in, in another way and yeah. to lost you mm -hmm. and I know that very very good yeah and I can recognize in my dreams which one is good and which one is not. Yeah, like a discernment. Yeah. Me too. So, well, I'm awake, though, but I don't do this dreaming thing. I actually living awake when I'm doing it and seeing it because I have to make myself do it. Mm -hmm. It's not spoon fed to me. I have to make it happen. I have to go up to fucking strangers and find the light through them and tell them about it until I reveal more shit like spirits can come while I'm just revealing their life, shutting off their body, their mm -hmm. memories and stuff. And that's what's going on. And their organs and stuff that I don't even know. Words to like the optometrist, the gallbladder. Didn't know that shit until I went through other people's spirits. 
And that's what I have to go through to find Jesus and God because they're only working. They're telling the only the only spirits and aliens and everything and angels and fairies and dragons in real life. They're dragons apparently around people and shadow people around people too. All kinds of spirits and orbs. The only thing that they're listening, the only ones who they're talking to is the one who's listening to them. And we're listening to them, right? So they're talking to us. And so they always want to talk to the other person that I'm picking it up from. So I'm always, even Jesus tells me to tell this other person something. Like he told me to tell this girl, I'm here to save Selena. That was my ex-girlfriend. And Jesus told me, he says uh, to this other girl, my friend, she says, tell her to accept me in her heart. That's the words Jesus said to because there was a demon around that chick because I was picking up from it, picking it up from her, and her friend communicates with demons, and the demon just appeared around her because I was picking up on her friends around her in her aura. You know what I mean? Like I can pick up all her memories and people in her life, people I've never seen before, but only through her, like a crystal ball. But it's their aura, you know. And then, you know, several fucking times, and when I saw Jesus, and one time he says he doesn't understand this in church. I think Jesus, and then, then this other time. Jesus said, um, if you do this, I'm not going to come back for you. And I'm like, what do you mean? And that was in my room one time. And then I saw him again, and he finally came back. And that was when he said, I'm here to save Selena. And that was when I felt the presence while I was driving. Driving, nervous wreck to drive, trying to find a place to pull over so I can listen to him. And stare at him, you know? And it was just fucking a moment. And I was down the street, too. Way down this way. But, um... I don't know, it's the school shit. And then the last two times I couldn't see his face because I called him to come here to take up this stranger's uh, grandma and um, chihuahua. Like I was on the phone with him because the two second rings on the phone with strangers because it's better that way. So I can picture what they look like and what people without never seeing them. So much easier. And then, um, yeah, and he just went and showed me his face. And I was like, wow. And, but before that, I was at Walmart and I found this guy and I asked him what his sign was. And then I I said, can I film you, say your sign, and then I started to give him a psychic reading, and it worked, and I recorded it, too, and that was awesome, and, um, I thought I saw him in there, too, but it's like, he, you could only see the back of his head, and then the time he came into my house here, you could only see his hair over his face, and a bunch of light, white light over his face, whatever, blah, blah, but anyways, that's cool, and it's so cool that you, no one else understands this bullshit. No one understands, no. That, understands that we're all fucking alone on our own. Yeah, you can understand. And they're insane, but they're, Jesus does like this. Because they can, sometimes, um, it they depends, can all fool you to see through what? Your, your vibration. Mm -hmm. It depends on your vibration. How I could be depressed and, and, and uh, fucking tired and can still make myself try to do it on people who are readable. Because there's people with those just delight. And it, sometimes I can sense on them and they can see it. Sometimes there's, it's not easy to do on them. It's not as it work on everybody. But um, it works. It fucking works. And again, I got recordings too. I can show you. Okay. Oh, ask her okay. what? Go away. Go on. Now. Ask her what? Lola? Uh -huh. Do you know a guy named Lola? A guy named Lola. Okay. Yeah, dogs are cool. But anyways, um... What would you do in this situation if a, if, uh, a demon says, I can make you powerful? What would you say? If it looked like the demon from um, the original Dracula movie? Exactly like him. Okay? Exactly. With blue eyes. And, um, you know, that's what it looked like. Dressed like that. He says, I can make you powerful. What would you do? That's the question. First of all, I have to say that it's subjective. And we also have to look at the history of what a demon is. A demon is an actual angel. With dark energy that gives you a headache and it's pollution. That's what it is. What would you do with that? That being that you just saw. I mean, this is all. And he's trying to offer you this thing. Like, you know what I mean? Saying so he can make you powerful. I said, I'm already powerful. Fuck off. Because what the hell? So that means if I can be powerful, I can be it by myself. You do. And that's the thing that we don't realize either. Is so that could be a gift that I already have, and then he's trying to take Demons them. can't affect us. No, bitch, they can't. If you just soul. gotta say no to them. No, you don't even have to do that. Melissa, the only thing that helped me was Good Samaritans, which is my aunt, was really literally haunting my mother and cousin. 
I didn't believe her fucking trailer was haunted, and it fucking was by Indian Bear Crown, and there was a mm. real demon, and then they owned that trailer. I could have went there and filmed the documentary of it, but all I had was a story, and six years later, after that experience, and uh, just, uh, I finally got her as my witness to tell people on live, and she was still rushing to go, but, um, man, it was really awesome. So, I got that confirmed, that... There's my witness. I mean, my stories are real. Hello. I believe your stories. I've seen Jesus. Uh huh. If I think, you know, somebody tell me who the fuck you think that was, and if you met this person, it would probably be Jesus. What would you do, this Glinda like motherfucking being that looked like Jesus better? I'm gonna like prettier, like blue eyes with different colors in them, and he, he went by Jesus because you just wanted to call out to him because you just did. If you ever tried to call out to Jesus, he does never repent, never comes, or did he have her come yet? <laughs> right. Because it's a, it's a, it's not always going to happen, but he does exist and you have to seek him. That's our problem. That's, we have to do it all by ourselves to see into the spiritual, to get a hold of that bitch. If he has a reason to come here or if there is a way that we're prepared to fucking get existing in that energy. Because that is the only thing that heaven is because we are part of the light and he's part of the bigger, this really runs super much light. I think he exists this way. Like he had a plasma bubble with electricity inside of it. And plasma can do, uh, have friction to make, plasma can make elect electricity, too. So he was this bubble, though, and spirit, living spirit, you know, that's what they said about him, Jesus. So, and he came to you and says this, let's see, uh, he says, tell her to accept me in her heart. What would you say to oh, her? Lord. Like this girl that you saw Jesus around, finally, because there was a demon there and it gave y'all headaches and you said well we need jesus because that's what i said well, we need jesus in him and he showed up right uh and he says tell her to send me in her heart what would you do what would you do what would you do this is the show what 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 would you do what would you do right what would you do yes what would you do ah the dog is okay so what would you do in that situation what's your answer i can make you powerful what would you do are you doing nothing what do you do hmm. What do you do? What do you think about? I I don't I wouldn't entertain that. Right, but what you just, I happen. said well you're not gonna say anything? No, 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 you're not understanding. It wouldn't happen. What do you mean? That would not happen in my world life. What life. what if it did? What would you do if but it did? It wouldn't. What if it did, that's the answer. It already ha it's happened, what would you do during it's happening like that? What would your what would your choice be if it was happening to you? I don't allow that into my consciousness. But what if it happened? Because you, because it just appeared because you've had your eye open, that's all it is. And existed because before your eyes, whether you like it or not. Whether you believe in it or not. It it's exists. all subjective. I don't know what if it happened to me. <laughs> so what would, you do to you? Me? what would you do if it was me? What would you say? I said I'm already alpha fuck off. If a Hold demon up. came up to you... But what about to you? If a demon came said to that, me, I wouldn't, I would, I would dismiss it. I yeah. I never even acknowledge that That's it was good. You just focus on the light and as best you can and stay in it. And that's what I, I don't even that happens. About that. But yeah. it's like, if, you if seen someone else, else is around and yeah. there's a demons around, mm -hmm. then I will, that's a totally different situation. I, I will come in the house, go wherever, and mm -hmm. they'll, they'll go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but what if you follow like my freaking cousin? She can get around to that shit until it's gone now. And finally, for some reason, I don't know what, how or why, but she went. She tried to travel away from this area to get away from it, but it's finally gone for some reason. And uh, that's good. And so is her aunt. I mean, my aunt. I don't know where she's at yet. I don't know if I can tap back in. I don't know. But she kids and everything. So maybe they remember it. That'd be cool. Because animals do that. And then we'll talk. If we get tucked in, tuned in to anything that's happening, I mean, yeah. that dog looks like it's patient enough to talk to me, but I'm the one that needs to listen to it or to pick up on what's there, mm -hmm. like a flower, or like the story of a rose, a story of everything that has the energy inside that, like whatever happened to it, because you can't just add extra thing to it. It's like whatever happens to it, it happens yeah. to it. Like, um, it could like a certain, do you know what I mean? It's so cool. Like the, that's how I learned how reincarnation was real because of animals. <sighs> yeah. But I don't need to repeat that story. But I would like to know what your reaction is. Like, if you saw my videos saying the story, which is like, 
<laughs> well, years ago, I saw all this, uh, I was like tired and stuff. So you don't have to be positive or nothing to be psychic. Okay. You don't have to, you, you can still use your senses and that's all you have. Okay. Regardless of your mood, get over it. So like, um, it's not spoon fed to you or nothing, but it happens. It's, it's really cool. It is cool that, um, whatever we got, I don't know. Um, it's just real. Um, so that's fun. I picked up on, um, the spirit of this dog that said his name was Michael and it was an Aquarius and it, it looked like one of these dogs with ears up, like, st that stand it up and it was like grayish black or whatever. And it was long, you know, like with long muzzle. That's how I've seen it. So I told him that and he said, that was his dog. Hello, owner. And it was a spirit. And it also showed me a grandma green, um, parakeet looking bird. And it, that was true. He had one of those birds and it coexisted with a dog, but there was also a yellow bird that was a guy and it had to be in a cage because it was never like really clipped, you know? And it was like, bah, bah. and like, um, all that was true. And the dog, Michael, which is his name, it's Aquarius. Okay. How does the dog know it's a trolley sign? Because I asked the dude, Virgo, I was like, when's this dog's birthday? He told me it's a trolley sign. I want to know for truth. If you're, you. if you're telling me the truth or not, if you're lying to me or you're, um, 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 so he told me February 12th, and I'm like, that's Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Abraham Lincoln is Aquarius, moon in Capricorn. That doesn't mean the dog was moon in Capricorn, but that, that does sure as fuck mean that dog was an Aquarius, like the night him, he told me, you know? Yeah. So I know that I'm getting somewhere and not hallucinating, no one's lying to me. And so that's my confirmation with there, you know, so I have to get it. Um, um, and he also used to smell cinnamon rolls every time he was trying to come home. Guess what? That dude was working a place where he got some bacon rolls and he gave it to the dog. Okay. So, that was true. And then the dog said that they were in the backyard of their trailer, which I totally, in detail, told them what the cats looked like and where everything was in that furniture place. And get on with it. And I went out in the backyard and there was his nephew. And guess what? <laughs> that was true. That was his nephew. I said, it was his sister nephew. And that was true. And he called the dog Michael Jackson for funny. <laughs> That's even better to say because I was like... The truth. This is like, what happened to me? And, um, um, like, I told him, this Virgo, who I picked up on a lot of things, okay? Like, his dead uncle, his dead brother, and, uh, a lot of things that don't even make sense, that, uh, alien abduction kind of spiritual stories, which is just ridiculous, even though he said part of its imagination, I read it, like I, I read it like I saw it, and it was really little in his life, and the same things matched up as what p things looks like. Mm -hmm. Like there was a beam of this part of light in this area, and it was like these colors or whatever. Um, we confirmed it. I don't know, it was just really weird. It's like, sometimes I can read people reading a um, book or something that you... Yeah, I don't have to watch you do it, but like I'm, I'll watch you do it in your memory that you did read a book or something, and you, this is what you imagined while you're reading this book. I've done this before at the fair. I told somebody at the fair that I just sat next to it, this one stranger girl, and I told her what I, because I'm talking to her, so I'm a parasite, and I told her, <laughs> I told her that she was picturing a unicorn, but that it didn't have like beautiful ragdoll hair or nothing, or a uh, regular hair, and it had fucking dumb little knobs on its head that she imagined in each color I said it in this right order and everything. Oh my god, that was so ridiculous. Because like, she was reading a book in my, in, in my, in the thing that was reading inside of her, that was true, and how she had brothers and sisters, and how death, and just, I think she was anemic, and all this really cool stuff. But that was just part of it. So, you know, but anyways, so I was talking to Michael, the Aquarius dogs, so Aquarius Okay, they know how to telepathically talk to me the best. If you're a human, you're going to be the same lame person that you were before you were dead. And after death, you're still the same person. Y'all all are the same person. You ain't God. Y'all don't not know. And y'all are experiencing it just as much as I am around with you. But I don't know about the background of your other stories and experiences of spirit. You know, I'm just telling the, the dogs and the animals tell me the most about something that you want to know spiritually because this is all I know. It's like the reincarnation of this dog showed me in this bird. Like, wow, all in one psychic reading. And I told him that um, I saw a place, uh, I mean, that uh, there was a um, animal shelter in a homeless place's lunch place they gave away food at. And that's where he worked. 
And that's where they had the two birds that he got from that place. And I was right. That's what the bird told me where it came from. And I'm like, how the, why is there cages near the place where there's food? And it was, it was that close, you know, just like a decoration of like, you know, a big old tank of, um, tanks and tanks of animals, just like a store, a pet store. Whatever. Anyway, that was my visions of that in that story a long time ago on, uh, with, on a Virgo. Just don't tell you that because animals are cool, but I have not read anything of this animal or where it came from. You probably told me every secret, and so it's cheating, so can't practice. But, um, let's see. What do you do? Hmm. I don't know. Cool rug. It's a model. That's what it is. It's a model. What's this astrology sign? You don't know? Somebody needs to question the person who does. That's literally what it feels like to be in the presence of Jesus. It feels like acid. Other than that, I could never feel that way. And I've never done acid, but, like, that's what I would say it is. Um, like... Jesus naturally. Spiritual experience, not a physical one. Only in that time when he'll share that energy with me, but, uh, or with you, you know, like, you could see him from a distance, but, like, feeling the presence of him is different, too. It's, like, I think that's heaven, because if you're around people, they have precious uh, presence. People are empathic. They can feel people's pheromones and all that good stuff, and, um, whatever. Like, I, like, you just compliment Jesus as much as you can, but, like, you haven't experienced it. If you have then you can say what you experience. I mean, you can't just make this up. You can't just tell this rumor and tell me that, like, Jesus loves you. I'm like, what? <laughs> Did he tell you that? If he didn't, then you're lying. You're speaking for somebody else, and that's not your business, bitch, because you did not speak for him. He didn't speak to you because you wasn't listening to him. You have to seek him and find him, and if you do, it's not a story that you just tell yourself, you know? It's something that you can actually have in reality. Mm -hmm. You can be visited by Jesus, and if there's worthy causes of you being visited by him because you were so in the dark darkness that you get a reward of seeing Jesus, fuck, probably that's what the whole thing is, because of why abuse him and his wonderful energy, hello, excuse me, it's none of your business, quit nagging to him every fucking day, please God help me, I, that's what I do, <laughs> ever since I saw Jesus and I thought, damn, I bet this nags the fuck out of him if I would pray to anybody like that, that would be a bitch, but I'm just gonna make sure that y'all can just, I'm just gonna get another Jesus, and but I'm gonna keep you as my real Jesus, but I'm just gonna just like, my pretend Jesus is somewhere else, okay, but like, you know, it's a good habit, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> I think that is so delusional, I guess, I mean, to do that, because I can't have any help, so I'll just, like, put a little gear, like, can I start this engine to make myself be helped? I can't be Jesus, so, okay, fuck it, but I've seen them, and I have that to boot. I can tell the story, and I can pick up on people, and all the kinds of things, and there should be some my outlet, which is this, I'm recording, I'm trying to find it. If it's gonna happen again with your sister, and wherever else, and whatever else, and everything I hate, it's so bad for you. Bad for you, toxic energy. But, you know, the calling camera. <laughs> okay. What is that? Sandalwood bullshit? Which is better than whatever, but it's not. What is it? Mm. It's blue. Eek. Don't breathe that in too, for nobody. It's already gone. Cool. No. Yeah, some good. cool glasses. <laughs> Those are cool sunglasses and stuff. Thank you. Let's go on a boat. Let's go paddling at the Arkansas Museum. Let's go try it. Does match you. Very match your skin tone, your hair. They are you. No, they're not. But they can be right now. I have a cough and you're mad about it. No, no, kitty. That's my Popeye. You can't have my Popeye. Whatever. That's got kind of glasses, I think this is. Mm -hmm. It's like boating glass. Oh, how cute. It's got these little nozzle things on it. The eyes of a Taurus. I have, me and you both have our left side, which is ruled by Taurus. It's our eyeball, did you know that? The second house is ruled by Taurus. My sign in that is Cancer, and so is yours. So we'll look like a Cancer sign, but this is the sign of the face that you want to show everybody, and because it is also ruled by beauty, which is Taurus, and value, and so that would be our better side. So do you think your left side or your right side is? Because I think your right side looks like, look, see your right side. I already know I'm fucked up. No, your right side... I like, have we two have different, different faces. We have different. Yes, because you're Gemini rising. We both have two different faces. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, this, they're not I, symmetrical this with each other. This face is my. This, this is how I describe it. This is my dark side, and this is my light. 
And people, yeah, well, guess what? I think your uh, left side is the side that you should take a picture of probably right now. Because uh, it's symmetrical like that. I don't know why. Because the eyebrow, which one raises higher than the other, is the side that you want to show people. But, like, I want to show people this side, my left side. And you want to show people your left side, too? And uh, the right side is supposed to be ruled by Pisces. It's the insecurities. It's the emotional side. And, it, and it, mine's in Taurus and yours is in Taurus. So, you're right. This side's in Taurus. So, I'm like, yeah, because it does look... <laughs> <laughs> the side that should be shown, but because this side, we're anyway with the red that they're both very beautiful, anyways, whatever, and all that. So, hmm, that's what astrology kind of rolls your eyes. Everybody can look up your thing, and I'll tell you what I think about what it means for you to look like that's that. Cool. Mm -hmm. And the lips are ruled by the third house. Oh my god, and Gemini rules the lips. Hello. And, um, so we're Gemini Rising, so we both have lips. Like, what would they look like? What does your lips look like? Are they cat lips? Are you a Taurus as well? <laughs> Gross. And the hands? We have Leo hands. What kind of hands do we have? Like, what? Let's show your other hands. They're a fire sign hand. I don't know if there's any planets in here, I don't remember. But, uh, let's look. Oh, yeah, you have Saturn and Leo, so it's kind of a ruler of what their house is already. You might have, like, life lessons or restrictions on that. That would suck, but you don't have any heart hands or anything problems? I'm sorry, say that again? Did you have any hands that hurt problems or not? Probably not. I do now. You do I know what? drove off the mountain last year for my dad died. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> I think that, um, yeah, so your dad's dead, and does he look like you, though? I'm not seeing them, but I'm just, I just, I can't think of anything else. Um, let's see. That really, like, I didn't know that. When you look at my family. My Your dad has dark hair. Darker than yours, right? Yeah. No, you don't. So I'm wrong. When I'm with my, if my sister and I are together, we look Your sister at has, them. like, a what? If my sister, myself, and my mother are together, we all look identical. You put my sister and myself with my dad. All three of us look identical. Yeah. Cool. Good. Um, awesome. It's like, um, I, I, did y'all used to have a swimming pool or what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I'm just went by where my aunt lives. She had a swimming pool, and that was really cool. What a magical day. Today was a really good day. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's this, like, Aries dude walking on the side of the street in the highway, and I picked him up, and he was trying to make us sales, and I took him to this rich neighborhood, and that's where my aunt used to live, and then, so I guess he was talking to somebody who was outside of the, doing the lawn. I got to ask her, what's your shots? And she says, I don't uh, tell nobody that. I don't give that out. Fuck you, douchebag bitch. <laughs> it's just a zodiac sign. Get with it. I play with she, Barbies that are zodiac signs. I'm the kid. You're mean. No, I bet you think some. Yeah, right. No, everyone. No, she was like doing her lawn. She was doing her. She was doing her lawn with a mask on. So what? She's just like whatever. She just didn't want any to, to, to donate to do donations to that dude because I I came back. He left something in my car, and I just went backwards, and. I had to give him that, and I got her signed. She was a douchebag because she didn't. She, she, I didn't say nothing because I let her make her decision on what she wanted to do with him. Because I'm like, get in the car, I'll take you back to wherever. She was walking on the highway. Like He's on the time. highway. Well, if I do, I'm pretty lucky. And um, one time I am, I because I get myself in that thing. I ask people if they want to ride, and I give them a second reading, and that's. The time I can spend with them and give them a good ride. He's cool. <laughs> so, my turn. People who need rides need me. Thank Will you. Will you turn that off? I need them too. Yeah. Boring. Okay. Go. Uh, okay. You have a sister. I have a sister. But it's I didn't, mean her against the world. I didn't say what she looked like, right? Very well. At all. It's okay. So I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. My sister would be the closest person that I have to me and, and Welcome to this 
spots. You are a Libra and your Pisces rising. And your moon is in Aquarius. And your Saturn's in Aquarius. Wow. Your Venus is in Scorpio. Your Mars is in Cancer. Your Jupiter's in Virgo. Your Lilith is in Aquarius. Okay, then. Well, your Lilith is in Aquarius, which means you have multiple orgasms. And uh, your Mars is in Cancer, which means you kind of rather cuddle than have sex or something. Yes. And you're all about your family. You And your Venus is in Scorpio, which means you have passion and desire. And the way you get to know people is kind of through sex, too. And death, sex transformation, you transform other people. You leave an imprint on them. And then your Pluto's in Scorpio, and your North Nod is in Sagittarius. You're meant to travel and stuff. Your 10th house is your public image is Sagittarius, which means you're going to be a lucky guru, you're lucky with being well known. Your fourth house is Gemini, which means you gossip and talk a lot more at home, and your siblings and neighbors and friends, and your third house is in Gemini. When you're, and you come off as every sign, because your Pisces rising, it's your face. And your twelfth house is in Aquarius, which means you're mentally, in spirit, like, intuitive, in spirit. And then, um, you're not, your sun sign is in the seventh house of so, uh, Virgo. You're supposed to be uh, attracting all these OCDC people, practical people, or whatever. And you know what I mean? But you're the Pisces rising, and you said you attract all these people that are spiritual? Where, let's see, your sun sign, and you attract people like you, though. Your moon is in the seventh house, too, so you're, you're attracting people just like your mother. You attract people like your mom. Was she like your friend, or was she racist, prejudiced, or she was? She was kind of like that. She was kind of like, you can't be a weirdo and stuff like that, but you rebelled and became your unique self, and it's none of her business, right? Just like your dad. Is your dad the same way? Because your son was an Aquarius as well. Did he teach you? And it's in the 11th house, Capricorn. Um, of your friendship. Your Jupiter is in Virgo. You're lucky with living to your own abundance and turning things to products. And your sixth house is in Leo, so you're lucky with getting attention and uh, expressing yourself. Your Saturn is in the eleventh house of Aquarius knowledge. Your North Node is in Sagittarius in the ninth house. You're you're meant to have a philosophy and travel and stuff and have. A bigger picture view of God kind of thing and be a guru and be well known anyways you can be famous your eighth house is in Scorpio that's your death sex house and I mean and your Pluto is there your secrets and how you isolate yourself in the eighth house of cult knowledge your Lilith is in the twelfth house of Aquarius the spirit and psychic ability and stuff and insecurities and, and hidden talents. Your Venus is in the eighth house. You're looking for other people's money and you could be jealous in relationships. Your Mars is in the fourth house of home and it's in Cancer. You put all your willpower into your family and having a family or something in your home. I don't know. People come to you to be in their reputation. You give everybody a good reputation because you're CRS is in Capricorn. Like you would be the boss that, or you wouldn't be the boss at work, but everyone would come to you and treat you like the boss, even if you're not even the boss there. Mm -hmm. And um, they want to put you down as a reference and you make their, you know, get hired better if they were to be seen with you. Is that true? If, if, if they put you down as a reference mm -hmm. uh, for work, and you call, they call you and you talk about them, you talk good about them, it would help them get hired better because you're prep being around you, like your reputation gives them a good reputation. Is that right about you? No, I didn't, but... Okay. Do, at work, do people treat you like a boss, even no. if you're not the boss? Oh, okay. Your crown is in Leo, your Juno is in Cancer. So Fortune is in Scorpio. Okay. I'm, I'm... 
Toodles. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my, um, this is what happened to me, but this is what I'm asking you. What would you do if this happened to you? If a spirit had a box in its hand and it, and it was like, kind of looked like grass, but it was like a box. And he says, take it, 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 take it. Like he was so desperate to give, mm -hmm. to take, give, give it to you. What would you do? Okay. What would you do if an angel with a ball light was holding it and it was a guy? Would you take the ball? What would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? I would not take it. Good. Neither did I. Good job. <laughs> Neither did I, but this is what happened to me. I said, no, I'm already powerful. Fuck off. And then to the one in the box, I said, get the fuck out of my room. Get the fuck away from me. Get away from me. There was demons connected to that thing. It's like giving you a curse or something. And the angel with the ball of light, I said, what is it? What is that? He wouldn't tell me. Or I couldn't hear it because you have to focus in on your spiritual ears. Sometimes they, they, just, um, they pretend to be a good light, but they know because light, uh, because uh, Lucifer is light. Yeah, really? Yes. What's it? Lucifer is light. Oh, no. But... Yeah. That can be a bad light. Exactly. So never trust anybody. No. <laughs> just communicate with us, see it, observe it. And I like, just I have me. Just I just have I just me. Have me. We are all on our own. That's what I'm saying. I just so have true. me and I just truth with me and I just have faith with me. You yeah. Know? And every time when I just go to bed or when I just have um, when I just driving or do something, I just always um I don't know how to say yourself with the light or something yes, and shield and you I made yourself bigger. How do you say, that? Um let me. Okay, can you pause it? I don't want to say this. I have to think how to say it in English because my English. I mean, okay. mm. pause. I just want. To, I don't want to. Say, don't believe me or not, but I just to talk with tell people. You you speak spirits? Yes. Really? Me too. I love. It. But I when I just. Me too. I speak to spirits too. But I don't like it because they. Oh. I love it. I don't like it because they, um, and sometimes they are bad, and, um, well, and they are good, some of them, <coughs> you never know. Um, I have a lot of dreams about, um, demons, and, um, uh, some of them, or some of the people who I know in my dream. Okay, what did you say, what was the word again, uh, that came to you in the dream? Elevatus Imperium. Elevatus Imperium. Is that like a spell? I don't know. They, they just, uh, they Was just, it a demon or a good no, friend? They just came in my mind and I just yes. to elevate. Come to me too. I just came to elevate in my dreams. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. I start to elevate um, some of those people, mm -hmm. I try to to hold me with um, racks. Yeah, chakras and stuff. Yeah. And then I try to escape. You tried to escape uh -huh. from when, there. You were, when you were laying there, or just because they were laying rocks on you? Because they don't like when I just um, elevate. Elevate? Like, what does that supposed to mean, elevate? Uh -huh. Your spirit vibration no, no, rises no, no, and all that no, shit? No, no, no. When I say you that, levitate? Like, like floating? Yeah, yeah floating, floating. So you did float? Yes. Like a Libra does? Most Libras can float. That's their superpower, and most Virgos are hypnotizing. And all kinds of stuff I've come up with, but you were actually levitated because you were so balanced. Yeah, I was a little in my dreams. Hmm. And oh, you mean actually project? You float out of your body. And then sometimes uh, bad spirits take me uh, outside from my body. It's like a dream, but it's not the same. It's not like it's like a dream, but it's not at the same time. Yeah. Because they take me outside my body, mm -hmm. and I can see my body in my bed. Yeah, that's astral projection. That doesn't mean that they're doing it. You did it to yourself. And sometimes they attack me, and they sometimes they oh. ask me for help. Oh, and the bad spirits that's for out too? Yes. And, and they're dark energies? Or they're just bad people or what? No, demons. Demons and bad spirits. How do you and know the difference? Because they are very um, dark. Yes. They're super dark, more dark than the shadow. That's shadows. what dark demons are, yeah. And the shadow, more dark than the shadow. Does it give you headaches, the dark demons? Do they help no, your they body? No, they my, my energy. They just take the light from you? Yes. And they, uh, the last time, well, the last time that I, when I have a dream about it, mm -hmm. um, somebody of them did tell me that if I don't go with them, yeah, they would take my family. Oh, they can't take nobody without Jesus. Well, can protect you though. Have you I seen know. Jesus? Have you mm -hmm. seen Jesus yet? Yeah, sometimes. Well, I don't know if it's Jesus or not, but sometimes some lights when I just have my brain aneurysm, uh -huh. it 
I know. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Many days, uh, somebody came to, came to my, my, um, yeah. my room. Yeah. And they take me out from my, my body. Yes. And then I see this person. It's not the, like a person. It was like an angel or like an a, angel with wings. Light, light, light person. Uh huh. Light. A light being. Yeah. To protect you. Yes. And they put something behind my head, and I can feel it when they when he put some light, like a crystal, yeah. but with light, and then they put it behind my my neck, my I mean my head. Mm -hmm. And then he live. When he live, I feel like he put some feet in my face because he don't want me to stop. He just wants to cover his face. Oh, he didn't want you to see him no. because you're not allowed to see the image of God. And sometimes Jesus will cover up his face because it's just too much image of God. But I've seen his face before, and then the last two times I've seen him, he wouldn't show me his face. He showed me the back of his head and his hair in front of his face like this. Was it kind of like that? No, and the last time I think we well, if it was God or not, um, mm -hmm. it was a voice like extreme, like super powerful voice, and he told me many things. <clears throat> like what? Uh, I don't remember, but I know it was a big conversation. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I remember is um, is something about my sexual. Really? Yeah. He told me about that, and um, he said. Don't worry, we want to work with that before. But first, you have to do this. But I don't remember what he told me. But it was just a voice. And that dream, that dream was so different about the others. Mm -hmm. I mean, so too much different from the others. Did they think it was kind of bad or something? No, or did they just think good. it's good? Your sexuality yeah. is good? I mean, he said he, wanna, he wants... He, I mean, I, I think he tried to say we want to work with that. Mm. Work with that? Yeah, I think I just he said like that. That's insane. Yeah. But it was many, in many things more that happened to me mm -hmm. every night and every day. Really? Still? Mm -hmm. Because I'm always. Do you see them in people, person? More yeah. spirits around other people? Um, no, but I can. But it's most more in my dreams. More of my dreams, I can see person, I can see people, I can see many things. And sometimes when I close my eyes and when I when I concentrate too much, and I want to know something about you, mm -hmm. it, many images come to my my mind okay. and start to well, like you know, like many things. And sometimes they are true because I talk with people sometimes about. Can you try to do this for me? Mm, I don't know. I don't like to do this because it's, I don't know. It's something you should like doing because it's an ability that you have to do it on other people. And I don't like because the last time when I, you know, I was being... I've seen Jesus, I've seen angels with wings. Why couldn't you want to do this on me? This would be a bomb.com time to do it. Because this is what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. There's nothing else better to do than that. Ignoring it's bullshit. I know, I never know. I just mm -hmm. don't like to do it. Well, try to like it. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, that's why I have a lot, lot of tattoos. I learned to like to pull. When I, I oh, made wow, this. Oh, wow, pretty. Wow. You did that? Let me see that. Let me see. This is pretty. The other one. Oh. And I have. <gasps> Beautiful, an eye. And I have this much. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. And I have the other one that I felt out. Cool. The shrine. Yeah. The moon. Because uh, I try to uh, block many things about me. Spirit? Yeah, because they attack me too much. They attack you because you have the light and they just want it. Yeah, I know. I know. So you're like part of heaven? It's light? But I don't know. I'm just... I have a lot of things in my mom. No, my dad, no. <clears throat> and sometimes I have a lot of problems like, you know, with people. And I know it's because of that, you know, many strange things happen in life when you quarrel with this or something. But you follow it. <laughs> and I always uh, meet people like you. I just, yeah? Yeah, like with this kind of thing, spiritual things. I always attract to people like you. Wow. 
Might have seven house Pisces and Virgo rising, but you are a Libra. Mm -hmm. This is my, my, my. astrology. I'm going to do your chart in a minute.